Right now, more Illinois breads coming on. They're the group for race number 12, second elimination for three-year-olds, and here's the field in that one. Number one, Walter Brown, owned by Marvin McBee, Linden, Indiana. Bill Stahl trains. It'll be Dale Heitman driving Walter Brown. Two is Cole Hearted Ransom, owned by Michael Ross of Mendota. Irvin Miller trains. Andy Miller gets the call. Three, Conspicuous Absence, owned by Brian Penske Stable Inc. by Tim Towns. Brian Penske trains. Dean McGee is up. Four, Downright Expensive, owned by Sheila Elliott of Crete. Mike Arnold trains Dave Maxwell in the bike. Five is Ralph Rebel, on by Diane Koch of Joliet. Susan and Lauren Pyle of Blooming, uh, Bloomingdale, Michigan. Lauren Pyle trains Tony Morgan in the bike. Six sports star, on by Shirley Robinson of Miamisburg, Ohio. Brian Stevens, the trainer. Dan Knox will drive. And number seven, Mr. Major, on by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Homer Hochstetler trains Dave McGee in the bike. Trainer Brian Stevens of Ohio probably sends his first performer to the Illinois State Fair. Brian, son of Charles Stevens of Lebanon, Ohio, having raced basically the Ohio and Indiana Fair circuits and raceways, so probably a first-time starter for him in sports czar. The post and the gate is in motion. Eighth away. Here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside. Sports Czar first away. Also out quickly is Cole Hearted Ransom on the inside. Walter Brown gets away third. Racing four now as they swing toward the turn is downright expensive conspicuous absence next they race now toward the quarter mile mark and with the lead by a length as they head that way is cold hearted ransom andy miller on the outside park trying to make the top sport czar getting the trip walter brown's third fourth behind him as they reach the uh, quarter mile station will be conspicuous absence racing fourth next as they race past the quarter mile mark and head now down the back stretch is downright expensive as they head that way, racing six is Mr. Major, and trending that field of pacers early is Ralph Rebel. Front panel in 28 seconds, they're headed toward the half. And with the lead now by a length and a half, Sport Zari made the front before the half. He's on top by a length and a half. Behind him, racing second is Cole Hearted Ransom. Third down the backside is Walter Brown. Behind him, racing next as they approach the half mile mark is Conspicuous Absence. First to move to the outside is Downright Expensive. He's rolling from fifth, now fourth as they race past the half in 57-3. So off a rather leisurely half for this class pacer, they're past the draw gate, and the leader is Sports Czar by two lengths. Behind him, racing second, trying to keep the gap closed, is Cole Hearted Ransom. Walter Brown, yet to move from third. Outside him, downright expensive is fourth. Racing fifth, moving up Mr. Major. Six to the inside of him is conspicuous absence at the back ralph rebel they're at the three quarter and past that mark sports are strong he's there in 126-1 and they may not catch him he's at the top of the lane second is cold hearted ransom third is walter brown they're in the final eighth of a mile and the leader is sports czar from ohio and the final going here comes cold hearted ransom and tipped out here comes walter brown racing up on the outside on the inside coming on conspicuous absence to the wire it's going to be Sports star then Walter Brown in a tight photo with conspicuous absence. 153-4 from Ohio Sports Czar. I've been in a uh, training facility for a number of years. During that time, Brian was a little boy. No little boy no longer. He has made his mark as a trainer, and he's going to greet a winner of the Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes eliminations for three-year-olds. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Brian Stevens train, Shirley Robinson owned, Dan Knox driven, Sports Czar. Sports Czar, the winner, Walter Brown was two in the photo and number three, conspicuous absence was three. Winner, Another by Sportsmaster giving that sire another credit. Bred by owner Shirley Robinson of Miamisburg, Ohio.
course, as you can see, has a very limited racing background. Only five starts at two. Rather undistinguished a year ago. Twice second. This year, in four starts, coming in, two wins, one second. Now it's five, three, one, zero. And enjoying a very good year. Now here is the unidentified factor in next week's championship dash. Nobody knows just how good this horse is. He won his last four races. 53 and 4. Now 53 and 4 at the Illinois State Fair with what appeared to be gas left in the tank. There he is, Sportzar and Dan Knox. <laughs> 